Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Katrina Ramos and in today's video we're going to be talking about are your products causing your acne and how you can actually choose products that are right for your skin type, specifically if you have acne prone skin. The first thing you want to really understand is your skin in general, right? How does it react? Like overall on a daily basis, is it oily? Is it dry? Um, is it acne prone? Do you tend to have breakouts? And a lot of the times when we get breakouts, it's in specific areas of our faces. Um, not always, but most of the time it's in one specific area. So like when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I would get breakouts here. And then as I became an adult, I just only broke out like on my cheeks and um, occasionally in my chin area. Um, and so overall, you just want to have an understanding of your skin. And so one of the very first things that my dermatologist actually went over with me are the products that I was using on my skin. She wanted to know what skincare products I was using, what makeup products I was using, and all of that. And one of the very first things she had me do was actually go through everything and figure out whether or not it was actually right for my skin. And so this is actually a hack my dermatologist taught me. And this is the very first thing we went over when I decided to get medical help with my skin because nothing else was working. And so I'd highly encourage you all, if you are struggling with acne, if you have acne prone skin, um, if you haven't gotten medical attention for your acne yet, I think that this is a very good first step for you to at least take to make sure that you're not contributing to the problem, right? And so there are two things you want to keep in mind when it comes to your products. And so the first thing she told me is that the products that I use on my face they really should be oil free because the whole thing about acne is that it is when the oil is like getting clogged up in your pores and that's where the acne is coming from and so the number one thing she told me is that all of the products that i use whether it's sunscreen foundation concealer um, a moisturizer it should all be oil free you know your cleanser everything so that is one of the first things that you can look for in your ingredients when you're checking your products and even when you are out of a certain product and you want to purchase a new product always make sure you go through the ingredient list and double check to see if it has oil in it and i think a lot of the times there can be oil in products, but they're more towards the bottom of the list. And for me personally, I do think that that's okay because typically, um, I'm not sure if, if you all know this or not, but typically the ingredients that are at the top of the list are going to be in larger quantities versus the ingredients on the bottom of the list, they're going to be in much smaller, smaller quantities. And so if it is, towards the end of the list i don't think that that's something that you really need to worry yourself about um, but just overall you do want to try to go for products that are oil free and so the number two guideline you want to do is actually take all of the ingredients that are in whatever product you're looking at so you'll find it online on target ulta sephora wherever it is that you are shopping cvs you'll go online you'll find the ingredient list you'll copy and paste those ingredients into a database and that will tell you whether or not that ingredient has been found to cause acne and so i'm actually going to be walking you guys through the process because there is a specific website that she told me about and i'll leave the link down below so you guys can do this for yourself um, but we're going to go ahead and move to the computer so i can walk you guys through this okay so the website is causedna.com as you can see right here and you're going to go to the fourth option on that top navigation bar to analyze cosmetics and from here you can type the ingredient list you can also click from photo here and upload a photo of the ingredient list um, i'm just going to copy and paste from sephora 
click ingredients analysis and it will tell you whether or not it realizes that this is an ingredient list from another product. So as you can see, this is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. And so it brings up an ingredient analysis. And, analysis. and so in this first column, you can see the ingredients. Um, the second column, you see the function and it tells you a little bit about what that ingredient is being used for. And then the most important column is this one right here the acne column here. This column is what we're really gonna be paying attention to. So what you wanna do is really just go down this column and double check, make sure that none of these ingredients are showing a three or higher. Now, if it is showing a three or higher, that means that this product contains ingredients that are acne causing, have been found to be acne causing, or have been found to clog pores and so it's really important for you to put the ingredients into this database to double check because we don't know everything about every single little ingredient and so this is a really really helpful tool now i will say that if you have an ingredient that pops up more towards the bottom of your ingredient list with a three or higher i wouldn't pay too much attention to it just because of the fact that Ingredients at the bottom of your ingredient list typically are in the product at a very, very small, small concentration. So in the overall scheme, it's likely not going to have much of an impact anyway. Um, but the rule is just to make sure that in this acne column, you don't have any ingredients in there that are hitting at a three or higher. So I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope it was really, really helpful. So I really, really want to challenge you guys. Make sure that you take a look at your products, like double check. And I'm, I'm talking about everything you put on your face. So foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, blush, um, you know, your facial cleansers, your serums, your toners, your moisturizers, your eye creams. Definitely make sure you double check all those ingredients in that database and see if any of the products that you're using right now, they could be a big contributor to the acne that you're experiencing. And then in the future, once you can kind of root out, okay, so maybe this actually is not doing me good, um, consider you know just getting rid of it and replacing it and make sure that in the future moving forward every time you go to purchase a new skincare product a new makeup product that would go on your face in areas that you typically break out in um you know like foundations concealers etc make sure that you really do your research so before you even consider whether or not it's a good option for you to try run it through that ingredient database and make sure that it's not going to be something that's actually going to clog your pores in the long run. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys knew about this. Let me know what you guys find. Like if there's any products that you really, really love that you found out actually is might be contributing to your acne. Let me know in the comments down below and definitely share with a friend if you have some other friends that are struggling with acne or really just trying to keep their skin clear. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I said five in the morning.